We are learning today about the magician card. The magician, look at that. Comes right after the fool. If you remember, the fool was zero. This is number one. Number ones are all about new beginnings, new starts, just like aces are, okay? We haven't gotten that far, but, but we kind of know that, right? So with this one, with the magician, major arcana card. So um, this is an important card, right? It's more important than the day-to-day. -day. This is like on a lifelong kind of scale, the kind of things that alter your whole reality, okay? So key terms of this one are um, ability, skill, artistry, initiative. This is the card of law of attraction. It's about manifestation, um, affirmations. Um, it's about taking control. If you see the infinity symbol here, infinite possibilities, right? Um, success. It's about having a can-do type of attitude. It's about willpower, drive, um, good luck, goal setting, um, concentration, results. I might have said concentration like four times because it's about that. <laughs> um, it's about using your skills and resources appropriately. You see how he has these tools? That's what I'm talking about as far as resources go. They're all on a very sturdy, steady table. Like you can rely upon these different aspects of yourself, your day-to-day -day life, your money, your finances, your job, your career. You can manifest whatever you want with that. Um, your love, your relationships, your feelings. You control your own sentiment. That whole concept of you can just decide to be happy. Absolutely you can. Is it easy? No, but you can do it. Possibilities are infinite, right? You can go with a number one on a new adventure deciding, I am happy and I'm feeling, you know, loved and, and all of these things. You have uh, the sword here. New ideas, new thoughts, new ways of communicating. Um, and then uh, this is like your creative expression with the wands. Flexibility, ideas, uh, all sorts of things like that. Passions, okay? Now, this card more than anything is, um, you know, it is about the law of attraction, but it's co-creation. It's you putting your thoughts out there, but then also taking a step to create what it is that you want, whatever you want. You can create things in all aspects of yourself, in all aspects of your life. He's got one hand going up to God, Allah, spirit guides, angels, all that stuff, and one pointing towards the ground. So in a position like this, right? It's not a cheerleading move. It's not discotheque. It's um, receiving information from source, energy, right? Positivity, love and light, shooting it through our body, giving us that power that we need to shoot it into the ground, to make it reality. It's also picking shit up from the ground, worries, fears, doubts, and giving them to God. Like, look, take this off my back. I don't want to think about this. Take my sadness. Take my heartbreak. Boom. You take that and shine down on me and said something happy and positive with all of this yellow, right? Now, sometimes yellow is, um, yellow is always about positivity, happiness, joy. But um, sometimes it's also about, um, like, cleansing and toxicity. And that's how we do it with the magician. But we have to co-create, you know, a cleansed type of feeling or or light within ourselves. So this one, um, dedication, willpower, concentration, again, as I mentioned, but all of those things, we can create our own reality, okay? That's where we're going with this one. So you'll notice that he's got the white outfit on, which is about purity, like having a pure heart, like deciding, like, these are the things that I think I need, that I think that I want, that would make me feel all of this happiness and joy and being passionate about trying to create those things um, with, you know, the spirit world as your helper, as your employees, you know, um, the law of attraction as, as your right hand man. That's what this is about. Now, um, what else did I want to say? Oh, this is weird. Okay. Look, you see how there's like a snake there biting its own tail around his waist? Um, it's creating a circle, right? Another infinity kind of loop here. But, you know, when a snake is eating its own skin, I don't know that they do that, but, you know, they shed their skin. And, you know, it's it's really about, um, how do I describe this? It's like recreation of yourself, 
okay? It's like achieving one goal. Okay, so I don't know if you've heard of the fool's journey. I don't really read cards that way, but it's like, you know, you go through, you learn a lesson, you come back to being the fool. You go through, you learn all these lessons, you come back to being the fool. That's what this is about. That's what circles are about, right? So this is about um, creating a new circle, not necessarily like a new circle of negative behavior, patterns that we have to get out of, but this is a pattern of positivity and happiness and joy and manifesting the things that we desire, okay? Whatever outcomes that we want for our life, for our own happiness. Um, so point is with the snake, is that, um, you know, we're creating our own reality, essentially. We create our own feelings. We have a thought, we adopt that thought as our truth, and then that makes us feel a certain way. So it's okay to have thoughts that are negative, right? We can't help it. We see, we spill coffee on the floor and we go, oh shit, that sucks. But, um, and then, you know, we, we adopt that feeling. We make it our truth. We say, yeah, that really sucks. And we can let it kind of ruin our morning. Or we can pick it up. We can wipe it up. And we can say, hey, but look what I found on the ground when I bent over to wipe it up. Or um, this is good exercise. We can reframe things. We can frame things however we want. I'm horrible at analogies. That was really bad. I'm sorry. Um, but so there's flowers on top here, right? And there's flowers on the bottom. So... Again, about co-creation, affirmations out, asking God, Allah, spirit guides to give us what we want, but then also taking the steps ourselves to be the magician of our own lives, to believe in magic, to create this magic um, in our lives, you know, on the bottom here. So, so I'm taking steps to do, to make things grow and blossom and bloom the way that I want them to, but you know, God is doing it too. But again, with the co-creation, you see how there's more flowers on the bottom? It's like we're getting the inspiration, you know, through us, but then we're also doing the steps. So, so maybe you need to ask for ideas with that sword there on how to take the physical steps with the wands, the creative ideas, um, and applying them to our day-to-day -day life, you know, putting our emotion into it, the passion with the red. Um, so, and what this is saying too, I don't know if you see, he's got like a, like a sweatband kind of there, like, um, Richard Simmons <laughs> working hard, you know, cause we are co-creating. We're not just saying, God, give me this and I'm not, I'm going to sit back and I'm not going to do anything. No, you're going to do something. You have to work in tandem. Okay. Now it's a reminder as well that we've created our own reality. Everything that exists in our life right now is of our own making. Everything that will be is of our own making, with our attitude, with our thoughts, with um, our physical actions, okay? And whether this is subconscious thought, whether this is um, actual conscious thought and action, doesn't matter. We've created this for ourselves, okay? So this is like taking charge of things and doing them our own way. Um, so I don't know if you remember from last last time with the fool card, you know, he was wandering around kind of aimlessly like, well, I'm just faith in God and trust and, and that's all wonderful stuff. But now with this one, you know, he's more about follow through. He's more about, okay, I'm listening to your guidance and now I'm doing something about it. He's take charge. He's like action Jackson. He's um, the David Copperfield of his own life creating, you know, this magic here in his life, what he wants. So, um, what else did I want to say? When it's reversed, what does it mean? Well, when it's reversed, you know, it's fakeness, it's fraud, it's manipulation, it's um, failing, failed attempts, because maybe you're not, either, sometimes you're not trying hard enough, but sometimes you're not even clear on what you want, so um, you're not really attracting, you know, the things that you want. It's shortcuts. I think I said manipulation. It's it's being out of sync um, with reality. It's blame shifting. It's not accepting responsibility for your own reality now. It's confusion. It's impatience. It's all of those sort of things. So what does it mean in context of um, cards next to it? Well, you know, let's say it was a pentacle next to it. It's like new... Um, it's like job success, you know, that you can create or that's where you should be manifesting. In love, it's about 
Um, what is it that I want in a partner and how do I attract that? You know, I need to be the kind of partner that I want to have. Um, thoughts, you know, it's um, positive thinking, that can-do attitude when, when it soars. And then um, when you get it with one, that's like passion and, and go get them and all this extra drive and energy and, and flow, like creative flow. So this is a really positive card no matter what, unless it's like this. Then it's like used car salesman is the way I've heard it before, um, where, you know, maybe you're being duped, deceived, misled, um, or maybe you don't really believe in yourself. You're lacking confidence to create the life and the happiness and the things that you want. So... Let me know if you have any questions about this card and um, see you next time. Bye.